Gentlemen, welcome back. Another day of the grind. Okay, we're going to be playing our standard opening as white here. Oh, very aggressive. Very, very aggressive trap. Let's see if I fall for it. Whoop. C5. Uh, I think D5 is actually the answer here, but I could be wrong. I believe it's knight comes out. I'm almost tempted to just bring the bishop out. No, I'm going to leave the bishop. bishop. I'm going to leave the bishop. I'm going to protect with a knight and leave the bishop. Big difference there. Words are hard sometimes. Sniped. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best idea. I'm probably going to pay for that. <laughs> uh. No, my poor pawn. Eh, whatever. The pawn's already done the work. So, whatever. I'm willing to let it go. Goodbye. I'm just trying to mess with his structure a bit. And now this is protected. Uh, I'm also just going to remove his castling rights. Kind of glad I caught that. I was just about to castle. Uh, so far, a hot mess of a game. But we're having fun. So he really wants this, huh? I mean, dude, you can have it. Okay, how do I pressure this piece? This game is a hot, hot, hot mess so far. I think I'm losing this pawn, but I don't think it matters that much. Uh, this is fine, I want to say. Can you get my knight in a better spot? He's a light square bishop, so I need to remember that. Oh, no, I can't take that. Hmm. Okay, he unpins his king. That's good. I wonder if I should just go push c4 and then b3. Hmm. I could attack his rook, but I don't think it's the best idea yet.
Oh my goodness, I thought I was about to die. Every day sitting is hard. <laughs> oh man, excuse me. Maybe I should go pressure his rook at this point. I believe he's going to look for some trickery like this. And I'll be forced to push up. So far, so good. Hmm. I wonder if I will fall for it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. Tough. Tough. Let's either bring the knight out or push the pawn up. I don't know. I don't really want to push the pawn up because he can break it with his pawn. Um, uh, also, I have to worry about this too. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave my knight here because I have to protect g2 and h3. I think that's the big idea here is that this pawn is pinned. So maybe I just go h1 next. And then just remove the pin so he can't do any funny sacks here. Yeah, I think h1 is going to be the next play. Or maybe like h4 even. I wonder if I should block these in. I think I'm just going to pressure the high value pieces. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to pressure his high value pieces. If he wants to push his pawns, so be it. <clears throat> I think he might. Oh, that was really stupid. Uh, let's think. Hmm. That was really dumb. Yeah, I should have protected that pawn or just taken. That was really silly. <clears throat> I have the fork here. He wins a pawn. But, I mean, trading a pawn for... No, this is actually better because I'm protected on d7 here. Mm. Maybe I should have went g3 there. 
just protected. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I mean, I do have the check here next, which is kind of nice. Have to be careful because he can he can go e6 and then i don't believe i could protect the knight so if he goes e6 what could i do i mean if he goes e6 i can take another pawn but mm, mm, i don't know i like this move for some reason then i'll probably just go g3 next <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so I'm up a minor piece, which is good. He's got stacked pawns. My pawns are at least connected, which is good. Okay. <clears throat> No checks there. B3 is probably just to play. I think he's going to push, start pushing here. I think he's going to push down the A file. Just my guess. Maybe just offering the, the rook trade here is the, the idea. Okay, so he's protecting my knight from going anywhere. Or he's blocking my knight from going anywhere, excuse me. This is a free pawn if I can get it. If he pushes his pawn, I'll take with my knight and then just trade off. Mm hmm. Well, hey man, ah, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I wonder if I should just take his pawn at this point or just initiate the trade. <clears throat> Off for the trade. I think I'll be losing the knight. That's the thing that sucks here. Yeah, I should have went to h1 a long time ago. Or even like f1. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be losing a knight. That sucks. He takes and then I'm kind of giga screwed. Or am I? Should I just go F1 at this point? Hmm. So if I take, I lose my knight. <clears throat> I just feel like it's valuable. The thing that sucks. 
Let's see, if he takes, I can take his pawn. And he takes... I don't know, maybe something like c5 is the idea. Let's see, if he takes, I take back. He's going to win the knight. Hmm. Maybe I just let him take. I, I don't know if this is idea, the idea, but yeah, I lose the... Well, no, even if he takes the knight, I win the rook, and then I'm still in good shape. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he just has to take the rook here. Well, that could push up, huh? No, I have to protect my knight now. I still think this is okay, because even if he takes here, I still get the pawn back. Or I still take his pass pawn. Rather. Well, it's not a pass pawn, but I take his sort of far up pawn. I think it's still okay. I have check takes. Probably time to just trade this rook off, too. Well, we are pretty even. <clears throat> I do have a check here. That's good. That's good. I can go something like D1, Rook, and then um, Knight F3, discover the check, and then take his Rook that way. I think he's going to have to move his king here. Yeah. Now oh, this is actually really good too. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Oh no, that was kind of a mistake. Uh, that's fine. I'll just block this pawn. No, I think that's okay. I think it's okay. I think I'm just going to take the pawns. If he wants to push, that's fine. I'll trade off, but I should just be winning all these pawns. This is probably just going to come down to... Hmm. Could check him this way. I just need to get one pawn across the board, that's it. Yeah, I don't think he can save this pawn. That's fine. Yeah, he can't save this pawn, unfortunately, so... I could have just taken this one, too. Uh, yeah, now it should just be winning. <clears throat> this is pretty resignable for him, if I'm just being completely honest. I'm just going to look for a 
queen king uh mate since those are pretty easy for me How do we want to do this? I just want to get his king on the other side of my castle. My rook here. My castle. <laughs> what am I saying? <clears throat> do not stale mate okay yeah this is what i was looking for now his king is kind of forced to go to the other side yes thank you now we run the pawn up the board i probably could end this a lot sooner but i just i just want to do it the fun way would like to chat <laughs> Don't worry, Peter. I feel the same way. <laughs> I'm just harassing him a little bit at this point. <laughs> I want to just practice this mating pattern. I can just drill it in my head. One knight's square away, four spots away from the rim. Bruh. Oh, okay. Well, that took a while. Okay. But we finally got there. Okay, so let's do the game review on that one. Almost fell asleep. Almost fell asleep there. Oh, wow. Nasty blunder. Okay, so 70% versus 65. I made one blunder that almost through the game, but he wasn't able to take advantage of it. Okay, well, let's check it out. I need my keyboard back. Good, good. Bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Ah, right. G6. G6, he protects. I take. He's basically forced to take. Right. And then takes. Is that the big idea? Bishop f4. Oh, and then fall back. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I just wanted to mess with this king side pawn so he wouldn't be able to castle that way. Yeah, the. Oh. Castling was a mistake? Interesting. Pushing the rook up. Okay. And the engine really wants the rook to move here, huh? I wonder why. Hmm. Why is that? Getting it out onto the fourth rank. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I feel like it can be um, attacked by the pawns quite easily. Um, and then it'd have to be just doing a dance left and right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me just see what the engine has to say about it. Oh, just stacking. Oh, okay. Stacking the rooks. 
Interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Thanks, Engine. Appreciate you. This is the right move here, yeah. I was really hesitant to push up G3 because he had H4. Um, and that was a pin pawn, so I don't know. I didn't. I was trying to avoid opening up the H file for him as long as possible. But protecting G2 with the knight, I feel like, was the play. Really, an engine wants him to sack. No way. Why do you say that? Oh, and then pin it. Yeah, that would have been a sick move. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned it during the game, but I was slightly concerned about him abusing this pin piece on g2. In my case, it was the pawn, but in that engine line, it could have been the knight, and then I would have, I wouldn't have had anything else uh, to protect, and so he could have just won a knight there. So, yeah, that's a that's a really clever line there from the engine. Yeah, sacking just feels so unnatural. Yeah, so sack and pin, really clever idea there. Yeah, I wish I would have taken this pawn. This was probably my biggest mistake. Either just leave it B, or let's see if even B3 was better. Yeah, even B3 was better. Um, Still have the advantage here. <coughs> yeah, really poor move here. Uh, D3. I'm glad taking with the knight was the right idea. Um, so I want to see what the engine would say if I took with the rook here. It's best. 3.74, 3.45. Yeah, the knight move just seemed stronger. Um, this h4 didn't seem too valuable. I don't know. Where is the blunder? So this is the blunder. Yeah, this is the frame that I was having a hard time figuring out uh, what to do, just because he had so many threats barreling down the board. Yeah, I was thinking about c6, but I don't know. Just trading pieces off here seemed seemed easier. So what, what would the line have been? Yeah, I don't think he would have done that. I don't think he would have played f5. I think he plainly would have just taken the pawn. And then f4. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, right, because the king can just chill out here and stop this pawn from advancing. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that was a blunder, huh? And then rook f5. Yeah, so he'd have to give up his whole g-file plan here. Yeah, interesting. So he has to save this and then disconnect the rooks. Yeah, and then rook just takes a pawn. Right. Rook h4. And I can basically do whatever I want with the knight, right? King g2. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really good line. Rook h5. Wait, what? Oh, king g7, run the king away. Sure, but even then. King takes on g3. Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so d4 was a big blunder. Hmm. Yeah, I think, so let's see what his advantage would have been here if I just took. Oh wow, so that just threw away the advantage like all together there. Ah right. So yeah, removing the de the defender from the knight, that's the big that's the big deal. And then king just takes. And now he's up two pieces. Okay. Yeah, so I miscalculated that pretty hard. Gotcha, gotcha. So I guess when in doubt, take free stuff. I don't know why I didn't recognize uh f4. I should have noticed that a lot sooner. 
go back to some key positions. Yeah, F3 was a nice fork, nice little tactic there. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, just plain... Oh, right, I could have even saved this knight. Right. King E6. Oh. Oh, wow, so I could have been up a... Uh... An entire piece there. Wow. Interesting. Did not recognize that. This is so bad, huh? I don't know. I just wanted his pieces off the board. This is bad. Oops. And then it was just a series of fun moves at the end there. I just wanted to promote something and just practice the queen king mate pattern there. Okay, cool. Well, I would say GG, but uh, a little bit of an annoyance at the end there, but what are you going to do? That's yeah, fine. It happens. But uh, either way, good fun game. A couple misses, but overall fun game. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next game.